Welcome to Spotlight. Today I'm going to be talking about the DoD DFX9 Digital Delay. This is a really cool pedal. It has a lot of unique sounds. Um, I'm going to be testing it out with my milk grandmother. If that sounds like something you'd be into, stick around. This is a, a really cool pedal that I picked up in a trade um, and I've had it modified to have a, a regular 9 volt uh, adapter plug-in um, but otherwise I think it's pretty stock um, but it has a, a really cool feature called uh, infinite repeat and, and and a really unique sound I think the yeah there's kind of a weird kind of quirkiness to this digital delay you know being from the 90s or 80s um, it has some kind of a unique sound, and I think it sounds really cool with uh, synths and with electric guitar too. So I'm gonna give it a quick demo uh, with my Moog grandmother, um, show you come some of the kind of basic delay sounds, and then show you how I use it uh, a lot with the infinite repeat function. So uh, let's take a look at that. So first, I'll just give you an overview of the functions of this pedal. I have a level knob. Pretty self-explanatory. That's the delay level. Um, repeats your delay time. And then this is basically, you can have really short delays. And then this kind of fine tunes it. And then it takes you into the infinite hold mode, which is the furthest uh, over there. So I'll just leave uh, the reverb off on the on the grandmother right now. Um, so that's a real simple sound, slightly detuned saw wave. Um, so here's kind of a basic setting on the on a delay. Uh, just put everything at twelve o'clock and see what that sounds like. So even in a, in a slap situation, you can hear that that has kind of a an interesting kind of digital crunch to it. Turn the level up. It's quite an interesting texture in there, and that that's a, a could be a pretty cool sound. Let's uh, make the delay a little bit longer. can hear there's a little bit of distortion on the edge of uh, on the end of each note and that kind of makes the delay stick out a little bit but also kind of makes it sound like a really a cohesive sound and not just a, a repeated kind of part yeah so if you make the delay a bit longer and turn the repeats up so changing the delay knob while it's going you can change the pitch of the delay which is really fun especially when we get into the uh, infinite repeat section. So to get the infinite repeats going, we turn the range mode uh, to the highest number, and then we'll turn it so there's only one light on, and then it's working as a delay here, just a regular delay, it will fade out. And then if we go, After we've played a note, we click it again, the infinite repeat will happen. And so it'll just keep playing that same note. And then you can change the pitch with this. So 
Well, say you want to use that as the beginning of a patch, then you could play on top of it. idea of what you can do with that infinite uh, repeat. I've used it uh, on my guitar, on my pedal steel. With this, it's just, it's always such a great function because you just have, you get something going and then you can just start playing over top of it. And it's not like a, a looper because uh, it's a little bit more unpredictable what you're going to get back, uh, but it can be really fun. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.